This shoe is my Specialized Torch 3.0. It cost me about $300. It's a really feature-packed, high-performance shoe with a rock-solid, inflexible sole and a very, very firm upper, which means it has maximum power transfer between the cyclist and the pedals. And then there's my Shimano RP5. Again, this has that inflexible sole, which means there's good power transfer. Um, but the upper is a lot softer, so it, it is more comfortable over the longer distances. And then we have my Decathlon Rock Rider. This cost me about $100. It's as flexible as a wet noodle, which means that the power transfer and the performance is a lot less than either of these shoes. And so the question has to be, why am I going to do this? and keep this shoe to ride on my road bike outside. Before I head outside to explain why it is that I use a mountain bike shoe on my road bike, I'd be interested to know what shoes you wear. Does anyone else use mountain bike shoes? What shoes have you had success with? What shoes do you find comfortable? And what do you find to be really good performance shoes? Leave a comment down below, and while you're doing that, you may as well hit the like button, because it really helps my channel and subscribe if you haven't done it already. But before I get on to the next part of the video, there is one thing I have to do. I can't throw these away, they're way too good. And I will get use out of them on the trainer in the basement and I'll probably get a few more road rides out of them as well. Anyway, time to head outside and explain why it is that these are my shoe of choice when it comes to riding on my road bike. So I bought my first pair of rock riders um, two years ago. Actually, it was just before the Paris to Ancaster race in 2022. And quite a lot of people have told me that in the Paris to Ancaster race, it's fairly likely that you're going to have to walk. And I didn't want to prance around like a overweight middle-aged ballerina in uh, really, really, really high cleats. So I thought, you know, I'll, I'll grab myself a pair of mountain biking shoes and the rock riders at that time they were $70 so even if I hadn't got on with them it would have been uh, been well worth it and as it was the two years I've done Paris to Ancaster there has been a lot of walking for almost everybody and I've found that I can actually they really function off the bike they really do function very much like a running shoe so I can actually run or fast walk through uh, a lot of things that people are, are struggling with. So that is the first reason why I use these very, very cheap decathlon shoes over my Specialized or my Shimano when I'm doing outside rides. There are a few other reasons and I'll fill you in, but uh, I want to ride on for a bit further first. Morning. So another reason why I wear these is that they are excellent for bike packing. Um, around the camp at the end of the day, you don't have to carry another pair of shoes. You can just wear these and they're perfect. If you want to go a bit further afield, uh, go for a hike around the campground or walk into town, you can even take the cleats out and then they're almost exactly like running shoes. But if you do that, remember to put a little bit of tape over the uh, screw holes or else they'll get all bunged up with uh, gravel and muck and all sorts of grit. Another reason is that I'm constantly having to get on and off the bike to, to film and to, to set up shots. And so it's much easier to do that and to be walking around on the trails wearing a pair of shoes like this rather than a, a pair of cleats like this. Now, the final reason why I prefer these shoes over my Shimano and my Specialized, well, I alluded to it at the, um, in the introduction and that is performance. I don't really need a performance pair of shoes. I'm definitely a very average cyclist. And if I use my performance shoes and save myself or gain myself a couple of watts, it might move me up from 378th overall to 377th. So, I don't necessarily need that little performance nudge. 
Now there are some people who are fairly average, but they're really interested in marginal gains, getting as many watts gaining or saving as many watts as they possibly can. Rather the same way as some people try to get their bike as light as possible. It's kind of like a little additional hobby and I really respect that. But it's just not me, it's not something I'm particularly interested in. So I'm always going to be choosing comfort over marginal gains and comfort over performance. Even if it costs me one or two places in a race. I do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you disagree with me, which I'm sure many of you do, please leave a comment down below because uh, I always love to get into a bit of a discussion. Uh, if you have enjoyed it, please remember hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next ride.